Well, so far, wicked good for Zabit Magomed Sharipov. He has dusted the UFC competition every step of the way. Just hard to know what's coming, and I would think as hard a guy to prepare for as anybody in the game. It has to be like taking the hardest algebra 10 test that you've ever taken in your entire life because there aren't, there is no rhyme or reason to what he's doing. He's one of the most free-flowing guys I've ever seen step foot in the octagon. There is no pattern. There is no idea. He'll take you down. He'll make you strike. He'll spin and elbow you. He'll submit you. It's unbelievable the amount and the diversity of the skill of Zabit Magomashiri. And according to his chief corner, Mark Henry, no one in the game trains harder. Zabit Magomashiri, Pop, looking to move further into contention here tonight. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Magomed Sharipov is 29. Daryush is 31. Magomed Sharipov will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Zabit Magomed Sharipov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out of your Belinda, California, USA, Benil Daryush. All right, go through the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He loaded up on that right hand too. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Beautiful punch. 
He'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, man. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If you try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured it. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh! Try to establish that jab. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Daryush trying to faint his way in. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to the ring. Another big oh, and there's the double down. leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Side control now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix. All that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. 
Doryusha's pass attempt denounced. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch. Of Whoa! Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of... Daryush gets the double leg takedown, nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Trying to go... Good job understanding the transition. And now he's got that tight clinch. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he secures these takedowns. This is a terrible position. He's gonna tag armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And, and this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was huge. Doryush is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very Going often. For submission. He's attacking armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Stays in the fight. Jump on his back. Over under. Back mount now. Oh, and he's back up again. Zaryush gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight it's goes the on. the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You've got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side who thinks more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground? High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now into his mouth. Guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Daryush. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Our rubber guard now can see some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Gogo Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding, of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so fast that you should panic. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Bowman plotters in UFC history. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offense. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy 
maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Body kick now by Doryush. Oh, big shot land. Back to the overhand left, no good. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. So much power. Beautiful takedown land. Big double leg level change. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jet. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Doryusha's pass is denied. All right, guys, keep moving. Let's go. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. in there deep. There you go. Brilliant submission defense there. Solid strike on the ground. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. His double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Left punch is true. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. It's a great punch. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Single collar tie now. Down. Nice entry on that attempt. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, feet on the hips here. Doryusha's got a bruise starting to appear on that gate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Bottom fighter trying to control. Nicely done. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Nice hammer fist. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Darius is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, he's sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC. Or so well, you got to start clearing those hooks right away, or he's going to start to try to attack the rear choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He should be defending right now. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their, the Kimuras have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. 
Able to check the high kick. Kick right under that right elbow. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know him. You know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your time. Oh, it looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there is the end of the round. Some serious liver damage doled out there, and not because of alcohol, just a pinpoint strike that buckled his opponent and nearly got him out of it. He's so accurate, and he's so good at finding that sweet spot, that spot that really does usually end the night of your opponent. He's a fantastic performer, and he's doing a great job tonight. Ready? Ready? Fifth and final round. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He's able to slip the left there. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Big body kick land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? Oh! He's out! He got him! <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 38 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Zombie Maravichelica! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.